Hello guys, welcome in, the, in this new video. I will now make video in French and the same video in English. So English people or English that here that can uh, understand the English can see the video. In this new video, we will talk about the encryption, the DMRA, RC4 and AES encryption. Why does the audio quality drop? Maybe you have seen when you program a key, an advanced key, an enhanced key, there is a small, the, the sound is a bit alterated, is a bit, there is an audio quality loss. Why? I will explain you in this video why. But just before, credit of the video. Okay, in DMR, manufacturers generally offer two types of encryption. When you take a Motorola radio, an iTerra radio, a TYT radio, and any tone radio, generally there are two types of privacy. The basic privacy and the enhanced privacy. Basic privacy generally use proprietary algorithms like LFSR, linear feedback shift register, like exclusive or specific algorithm. And it generally basic privacy when you use several manufacturer, it's not compatible together. The enhanced privacy, you have two types of enhanced privacy. There is the standard standard DZ DMRA algorithm for enhanced privacy RC4 and enhanced privacy AES, or there are also proprietary algorithms. In this video, we will talk about the standard DMRA, DMRA, DMRA association algorithm. For the, so this is the enhanced privacy or the AES, the enhanced privacy RC4 or the enhanced privacy AES. Maybe you have seen when you program a key, an encryption key on your radio with the enhanced privacy. This is clé privé amélioré. It's it means uh, enhanced privacy. You can see the ID of the key here and uh, the key the key value here. Maybe you have seen the audio quality is lower when you use enhanced privacy than when you are with a clear text, no encryption, when no encryption is used. Why? Why, when you use the DMR enhanced privacy with RC4 40 bit or AS 128 or 265 bits, why there is a loss of audio quality? Why? It's because of using initialization vectors or IV acronym IV. So you will tell what's an initialization vector. An initialization vector is a number added to an encryption to an encryption algorithm to be sure to have at the output of the encryption algorithm a case stream difference. When the IV change, the encryption, the case stream change. I will show you in the next slide. We will compare the basic privacy and the enhanced privacy. The initialization vector is inserted directly in the voice frame and it decreases the quality audio. So there is a quality, a loss of audio quality. And I will show you why. Let's compare. Here there is an algorithm, a basic privacy algorithm. How does it work? You have a secret key. Motorola use 8-bit secret key. iTerra have 
this own algorithm using secret key 40 bits uh, to 256 bits. Generally, you, you select a secret key in the radio. You insert it in a basic privacy proprietary algorithm. Basic privacy algorithm is different for each manufacturer, Motorola, Itera, TYT, Eniton, and other Vertex. And you use it, by using it, you generate a K-stream. The K-stream is a bit field. This is number of bits, and each of these bits is used to encrypt with an exclusive OR the bit produced by the vocoder. When you talk in your radio by using the PTT here, blah 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 blah, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, the vocoder encodes each data into small audio sample. Every 20 milliseconds, each 20 milliseconds, vocoder produce an ambient sample, an audio sample. This is a bit field and you just encode by using the case stream with the uh, exclusive OR and send it directly over the air. This is what, how the basic privacy works. And now, let's see enhanced privacy. As you can see, there is an IV added initialization vector here, and the IV was not here. Algorithm enhanced privacy use generality robust algorithm like RC4 or AES or DES with several types of key. In this, in this case, when you use enhanced privacy, the secret key is a bit more longer. You select it and you insert in the algorithm an IV and the secret key. So the key stream will be unique. If you change the IV, it changes every super frame in DMR. In DMR. When changing the IV, the case stream change. As you can see here in basic privacy, the case stream never change. It is why the basic privacy is very unsecured because you can easily recover the key or the case stream to decode the voice just by using, just by reverse engineering the case stream. In enhanced privacy, because of the IV change every super frame, the case stream is different for every super frame. And same procedure to encode the vocoder audio sample. You use an exclusive OR here. And you send the ciphered voice over the air in the frame, in the DMR voice frame. But it's necessary to decode correctly to indicate in the frame what type of key you used what type of algorithm you use, it is not represented here, but it is also very important to send the initialization, initialization vector, the IV, into the frame. There was no, uh, no specific frame or no specific uh, case in the DMR frames to insert the IV. So, Motorola use directly some voice frame to, transfer, to, to transport the IV. They just convert a voice frame bit from the vocoder to and they transform it by to, 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 to carry the IV. Let's have a look here. This is a voice super frame. A voice super frame, when you, when you send a voice frame in DMR, it cannot be only one voice frame. You have, it's mandatory to have at least six voice frames. The first voice frame containing a sync here, and other voice frame containing embedded signaling at the center. The embedded signaling carries the talk group and the IDs of the radio. When you use the enhanced privacy DMRA algor algorithm, the IV, the size is 32 bit is inserted directly into the voice frame. It is uh, shared into several bits and inserted directly into the voice frame. So this reduces the voice quality because it replaces ambient vocoder bit 
by IV. We talk about it in the patent. Motorola have a patent on the DMRA. Uh, Motorola was the first to implement the encryption on the DMR. And now the DMR is patented. The DMR encryption DMR, uh, used by the DMRA is patented. And now it's used as a standard algorithm for every member of the DMR association. Was encryption planned in the DMR standard when it was designed? Apparently not. DMR standard has been released first in 2005. And the patent, the patent on the encryption was released, was published in April 2013. You can see the patent. I made, I make a link, I made a link below the video there is the uh, there is the reference of the patent you can see the patent here the first page of the patent here you can find easily by searching on youtube pat on um, on google patent method and device for sending encryption parameters the patent said that the audio quality loss is noticeable it talks about replacing less important bits in vocoder sample. Vocoder sample makes uh, 49 bits without FEC, without forward error correction, and 72 bits with error correction. Some of these bits are used by the, uh, are used to, by the, by the EV to replace the voice, the voice bit by an EV. So they identifying and replacing less significant bits uh, to replace uh, to replace them with uh, with IV, and they talk about less significant bit that is uh, bit that is the less important bit in vocoder. You can see less um, as used here in the phrase. Less significant bits are those vocoder bits that have the less noticeable impact on the audio quality, regardless of bit order. So, Motorola takes on the vocoder bits the bit that have the less noticeable impact on the audio quality. But there is also there is, in all cases, um, a change, uh, an audio quality loss. You can see it on the, 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 the patent, this is described, and you can see about the minimum audio the distortion, etc, etc. Let's have a look on the, on the patent, link is below. And now, to, be, to, to explain a bit more how the IV is inserted into the, the voice frame, let's take a voice super frame. 360 millisecond of voice you cannot reduce it you are it's mandatory the dimmer standard said when you use when you send voice frame you cannot send one voice frame it's six voice frame it's a voice per frame and let's decompose it the first voice frame contains the sync and carries three uh, ambient sample, audio ambient sample. And the five last uh, DMR voice frame bit carries at the center MBD CNE here. When you decompose the content here, you obtain the first part, uh, 108 bits is one ambient sample, one complete ambient sample, one half ambient sample, 60, uh, 36 bits, the second half of the, of the ambient sample, and the third ambient sample. So there is three ambient sample. The IV, you take the IV to transport it. It's directly, you add the CRC, you add FEC for all the error correction, you cut it into small block of bits, and each block of bit is directly inserted at precise position, at position known, on bits that have the less noticeable impact on voice audio quality. So you replaced its mandatory. When you use DMRA 
RC4 or, RE or AES encryption, it's mandatory to have a loss of quality, of audio quality. This is how it works. This is one voice frame here. And on each voice frame, when replacing, when, uh, when you get the small bit inserted on each ambio sample, you can recover the IV original. And what about the audio quality on the other encryption mode, or the privacy? If I don't want to have an audio quality loss, you have two choices. First choice, clear voice, no encryption, no audio quality loss. The audio quality is preserved. Second choice, use basic privacy, but basic privacy is not a good privacy. You can decode a basic privacy. I made some videos on this YouTube channel. Some basic privacy can be easily decoded in less than one second. But the audio quality is preserved. Or, if you want a better privacy, it's mandatory if you use the DMRA RC4 or AES uh, privacy algorithm, it's mandatory to have uh, an audio quality slightly impacted, impaired, sorry, a loss of audio quality. Now, conclusion of this video, if you use standard DMR ciphers, you should be aware, you should be aware that the audio quality will be altered. There is a loss of audio quality, it's mandatory. If you use DMRA standard algorithm. Loss of audio quality is mandatory. It is impo impossible to do otherwise in the current state of things. Maybe in the future this algorithm will change. Maybe the DMR standard will change. Maybe the IV will be inserted directly in a specific field on DMR frames. Currently it's mandatory. There is no possibility if you use DMR algorithm standard encryption algorithm, it equals a small loss of quality. Okay, uh, now at the end of the video, the final word, but just thank you for all and stay connected. I will make some other video, one in French, one in English. So let's stay tuned on this YouTube channel. Other videos will come next. Bye bye.